Hi, I'm Brian Dickinson, and this training bite is on creating an array of UVCs in UVM. So what we're trying to do here is to create an array of UVCs where the number of UVCs can be controlled by a top-level parameter, for example. You may need this if your DUT comes in several different versions with different numbers of output channels, or we just may have a DUT that's got a large number of instantiations of channel interfaces and we just want to create them using an array because that's easier than instantiating them individually. Now, there's two things we need to consider here. First of all is the instantiation of the UVCs, that's the easy part. We can use a dynamic array for that. The second part is the connection of the interface between the DUT and each instance of the UVC. This is a bit more difficult. Uh, we can use an array of interfaces to do this, but they have to be indexed using a virtual array, as I'll show you. So let's take a look at the code. So here's my test bench. This is going to create my array of channel instances. I have a local property here, num channels. That's the number of instances I need, and it has a default value of zero. I'm also putting a field automation macro on num channels. Now I'm going to use a dynamic array to create my channel instances. Here, the array is called channel, and this is going to contain elements of the channel UVC class for my instantiations. Now, because I automated num channels, I can use a super build phase call here to check the configuration database to see if there's an entry to update the value of num channels. Remember, super build phase calls apply config settings. Apply config settings reads the configuration database, and if there's a match for any of the local properties in the class, it'll read the value out of the database and assign the value of num channels. So now I know how many channels I need. I can call a create on my uh, channel dynamic array to size it, and then use a for each loop on each element of my channel dynamic array to have a factory create call to create my instances. And in the create call, I'll use a $s format f for a form here to create a unique instance name for each of my channels in the array, here using the syntax channel, open square brackets, 0, 1, 2, close square brackets. So that's the test bench, nice and simple. Let's have a look at the top level module. So here's my top level module. It has a parameter, num channels, that's the number of channel instances I need, and it currently has a value of 3. And then down on line 31, I'm creating an array of my channel interfaces. So channel underscore IF is the type name of a channel interface. CHIFARR is my array name, and I'm sizing that according to the parameter num channels. And each instance gets passed down the local clock and reset signals as the interface ports. On line 38, I'm using a configuration set call to write the parameter value num channels into the configuration database at a path name which should match my instance of the test bench, and also with a field name num channels which should match the property name inside the test bench used to size the number of instances I require for the channel. And on line 41, I'm going to use a for loop here to take each of the channel interface instances from the array and write them using a configuration database call down to the appropriate instance of the channel underneath the test bench. Now to do this, I need to have line 34 in here. I need to have a, a virtual array of my channel instances. I cannot index my channel interface array directly. Let me just try and show you what happens if I try to do that. So here, I refer directly to the channel interface array. And now, when I try to compile this, I get a compilation error. Because that expression that I'm passing into the configuration set needs to be a constant expression, needs to be known at elaboration time. So I cannot use the for loop variable in order to directly in index my array of channel interfaces. So what I need is I need this line 34 here. So 34 is an array of virtual channel interface pointers. A keyword virtual in front of the declaration. And then I assign that, okay, from the actual channel interface array. So every element of the virtual array is loaded up with the appropriate corresponding element from the actual channel interface array. And now I can index my virtual array inside of the set call 
This is uh, known at elaboration time, so this should work fine. And hey, you can see now that I have my three instances of the channel, channel 0, channel 1 and channel 2, reported in my topology report, and everything's looking good. And let's just go back and change the number of channels I need. So perhaps let's change this to a 5 instead, so a simple update just to the parameter. And now when I run the simulation again, I should have a different number of channel instances. Hey, and there we go, I've got channel instances 0, 1, 2, 3 and 4. Hey, and just to prove that the channels are being connected properly, if I go back to my top level module and, uh, for example, I can just comment out these two lines here that are doing the set of the configuration for the interfaces. Now, when I try to run a simulation again, I should get a whole series of errors during my uh, connection phase because the virtual interfaces haven't been set for those channel instances. So this is how we can create a, an array of UVC instances which are controlled off a parameter and we've shown you both how to declare and also more importantly how to connect those instances. I hope you find this useful. Thank you.